Welcome back, VST here guys. Finally, One Eye 6 Beta based on Android 4 is here for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to install it. Now, first things first guys, you need to go to XDA and make sure to download the right update file. Now, in this thread guys, you're gonna find all the relevant links. Pay attention what version you currently run. So if you have the Samsung S23 Ultra July update, AWF7 guys, you can safely download the two gigabytes update bin file and then of course we're going to need a PC with platform tools ADB hook up the phone in my case I'm already using the July AWF7 update which means that I can safely install the One UI 6 beta update on top of my phone but I'm gonna need to hook it up to a PC and require the platform tools with minimal ADB to do so so let's follow through all of these instructions guys and let's hope that at the end we are going to enjoy One UI 6 on our S23 Ultra devices all right guys, we have everything that we need here is the phone connected to the PC. We also have here the update bin file. Now, we need to rename this file to update.zip. Update zip is here. We need to connect the phone to ADB. Now, we need to enable for that developer's option. So we need to go in software information and start hitting here the build number. Inside developer options, go down and make sure guys to switch on the USB debugging. Now, go back on the PC. We do have the update zip, right? And we need now to type the command ADB devices. So ADB devices, the program is gonna start. There's gonna be a message asking you to allow the connection. Press allow, okay? Make sure to run the command one more time. Now you should see your phone connected to ADB via your computer. We need to reboot the phone into the recovery by taping ADB reboot recovery. Hit enter, guys. Your phone is going to restart and it's going to get prepared for side loading of One UI 6 beta. Once inside the bootloader, navigate with the volume keys to update from ADB. When the option is selected, confirm with the power button. Now the phone is going to wait for the update. We need to go back to the PC. Let's check if we have the connection. We have it, it's on mode side load. What we need to do right now is ADB, side load, update, zip. If this method doesn't work, guys, you need to check the cable, check the drivers, and you can also randomize the port. It's extremely important to make sure that you're using the latest platform tools. So I'm going to put link down below. You can download them from android.com and I just tried some other version. It didn't really work. So I have changed multiple cables. I changed multiple ports, but it was the fault of the ADB. So always make sure to just use the latest ADB minimal platform tools and with it, it's going to work. Now, of course, don't get too excited before you see here the 100%, but hopefully after this 100%, you should end up with having the One UI 6. Let's stick and see what is going to happen with my installation. And if you like videos like this, guys, yeah, and you enjoy this very nice crease view, you might want to sub for the channel. Thank you. But okay, let's just see what is going to happen. Am I going to get it or not? And boom, here it is, guys. It finally has installed. Now, if everything is really good, I hope to see here the light of One UI six better shining upon my phone so let you see what is gonna happen here it is guys i'm really so happy but i managed to get the one ua6 so this is going to be a thrill ride expect my full testing in the next days and week and of course also my first review but of course i'm gonna need time with this i'm really happy that we're here i am really very thrilled and i want to see what samsung did let's hope for really everything to be optimized but among this of course is better night photos better ui animation more consistent interface and uh, let's just see how it's gonna go thank you so much for watching guys vst over and bye bye